All right, it's a lo lovely Saturday. Got back home. I need to do need to do some stuff. I need to put a new vacuum modulator. I believe that's the right term on that Bronco C4, which I have. I might try to replace that master cylinder today. And I need to shuffle some things around. I need to put the wheels back on my old 71 Chevy. That's what I need to do. And see what else I can do. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. I finally got that changed. Do you think that'd be an easy thing? But no. I got to have a skinny wrench. There's no room. So I had to make a Ford wrench there out of an old uh, wrench probably from a four-wheeler or something like that. Motorcycle tool kit. But that worked. All right, now what I got to do, I got to get that fan belt off. Alternator belt, which means I got to loosen up the power steering belt. Which is no big deal, I think. That ain't too good, is it? Alright, put some new fan belts on it. That's much quieter. There's still some adjustment left. That's good. I separated the spark plug wires. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do to that. I might take it for a little ride. I showed this in one video. It's got some scratches on the hood somehow. I guess you can see them there. So I'm going to try to buff them out. I see we're getting some swirl marks in it, so we'll have to use a finer compound to finish, but that's no biggie. Now I took this thing down the road a little while ago, and it is one evil handling thing. It is a handful. So I took a tape measure and checked the toe. It looks like it's towed in about an inch, maybe a little more. So anyway, I'm going to do some backyard um, checking here. And it's and try to try to get it closer all right here's what I'm gonna do I did my check-in by just holding the tape measure on the tread and a lot of times uh, wheels aren't true and the tread ain't true so I'm gonna take this 2 by 4 with a nail in it and I'm gonna scribe the tire and make a line on it all right so I'm gonna take this 2 by 4 with a nail in it and I'm gonna try to scribe a line in the tire See, we got a line there. Actually, it looks like we got two lines. I might need to do that better. All right, I'm going to take this 2x4 right here with a nail in it. See that? And the young man there is going to spin the tire just like he did on the other side, and we're going to scribe a line in it. Go. Now we'll use that to measure from. See the line? Oh yeah. All right, with a little bit of pipe wrench and cheater bar action and a little persuasion, I managed to get that thing to turn and we got them towed in an eighth of an inch by my tape measure calculations, which always has worked out pretty good for me. So I'm gonna tighten the bolts up on the turnbuckle and see if it drives any better. I bet it does. 